Hello, this is Chris from Worldwide Stereo once again, and today we have yet another turntable from Cambridge Audio, the Alva ST. Now this is going to be a bit of a part two to our video we released a little while ago covering the Alva TT V2. And that's because these two turntables are two sides of the same coin, sharing a ton of features between the two. Like the same tone arm, the same phono preamp, and the same Bluetooth Aptex HD functionality. So if you haven't watched that video yet, you can check that out right here or in the description below. With that out of the way, the question I want to pose and answer today is what do you get for only half the cost of the TT V2? And it turns out you get an incredible value turntable. A quick aside if you aren't familiar with Cambridge Audio. They are a British audio manufacturer with a long history of making some fantastic amps, preamps, streamers, and CD players. We've covered a lot of their products on this very channel, and they're a big favorite of many of the guys here at the showroom. Founded back in 1968, Cambridge has been making some of the best audio gear available, striving to recreate music exactly as it was intended to be heard. They love music so much, they even went as far as to build a live music venue in their headquarters called Melomania. I think it's clear to everyone that there is immeasurable passion behind every team member at Cambridge, and they funnel that passion into their new products. That passion shows in all of their turntables to date. When Cambridge originally were looking to create the first Alva, they weren't just looking to make a record player, they were looking to make a work of art, because that's what vinyl listening has really become. It's a romantic experience, something that the listener is highly involved with. The act of pulling a record out of its sleeve, tailored with beautiful illustrations, showing them off to your friends and family for a music night, is really a unique experience. Now, does vinyl sound better than high-res streaming? Well, myself and many others would say no, but it's not about that. It just sounds different. Uh, you engage with it in a different manner, typically more leisurely and methodically. I like to think listening to records is like gardening, and the Alva line ensures that you can take your stereo garden and make it blossom. Aesthetically, the ST is almost identical to the TT V2. The top plate of the plinth, while similar, is different in a few minor ways. The logo, for example, is embossed on the TT V2 and simply printed in black on the ST. The buttons seem to be fitted slightly differently as well, but still don't stand out as unsightly or anything. Uh, the platter is a bit shorter than the one on the TTV2, but since it's painted black, it looks very similar as well. A gorgeous modern turntable. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. Like I mentioned before, the ST is incredibly similar to the TTV2, but at only half the cost, $9.99 versus $19.99. If they are so similar, how do they pass those savings on to us? To answer that question, let's take a look at what the ST comes with first. In the box, we have the turntable itself, a pair of RCA cables, the ground cable, a power supply, head shell, and pre-mounted Audio-Technica cartridge, and my personal favorite, a little ortophone scale uh, to balance your tone arm with. Just like the TTV2, Everything is here for you to get listening in a matter of minutes. And no matter the system, thanks to the sheer amount of options you have in terms of connectivity with the ST, you will be able to listen to it on your favorite stereo system, Bluetooth headphones, or Bluetooth speaker. You also get the same built-in phono preamp as the TTV2 that you can disable if you want, plus Bluetooth and Aptex HD wireless connections. The ST's plinth is made of the same MDF and EVA sandwich as the TT, and the tone arm is exactly the same as well. So where do the differences in lie? Well, there are three big differences. Uh, the cartridge is a much more simple moving magnet AT95E instead of the high output moving coil cartridge found on the TTV2. The platter is die cast aluminum versus palm platter of the TTV2 and the turntable itself is belt driven instead of direct drive. These three things are where the cost saving come in. Uh, the moving coil cartridge alone found on the TTV2 retails for $5.99, which is where the bulk of the savings come from. And die cast aluminum can have a tendency to resonate much easier than the palm platter, but thanks to the rubber mat included, it's never been an issue in my testing. For example, I wanted to show you what it sounds like uh, if you just tap on one of these aluminum platters. You can hear that ringing. But as soon as I layer on this rubber mat here, and I tap on it from the back here, it's much more dead. Uh, the rubber mat really does dampen any kind of resonance you would get when listening to your music. 
And belt-driven turntables are not objectively worse or better than a direct drive turntable. In a lot of ways, I prefer belt-driven turntables. The nature of separating the biggest source of noise in a turntable, the motor, from the platter with a belt is a great way to produce both noise and distortion. Testing the ST in my day-to-day -day life, I put it through the same paces as I did the TTV2. I listened to it on my main setup in my living room with in without my Phono2 preamp. I tested it with my Bluetooth headphones and my powered desktop monitors that support Aptex HD. I didn't run into any problems worth noting, and I got a clear sound through every connection. Overall, I would say the ST sounds much brighter than the TTV2. I think that mainly has to do with the difference in the cartridges. There was zero noticeable distortion or noise. It's nice to know that if I did want a warmer sound, swapping to a better cartridge is a simple task. In fact, that would be the first thing I would recommend to any blooming turntable enthusiast. A, a new cartridge is a great way to upgrade the sound quality several fold on almost any turntable. 90% of everything that goes into a turntable is to reduce noise and isolate any vibrations from interfering with the physical needle reading information off of the record. But majority of the tonality, how the turntable sounds, is determined by the needle in the cartridge. Luckily, we stock a ton of different options, so if you are looking for one, uh, take a look on our website or reach out to us. I would say the Alva ST is an excellent turntable for someone looking to first start out in the world of vinyl records. You have a plethora of connection options and a well-defined upgrade path if you decide to really invest in medium. Once again, Cambridge Audio packs everything you need in the box to get started. All your cables, built-in phono, cartridge, and a scale to balance your tone arm. And as Cambridge Audio would say, just add vinyl. Thank you for joining me for our review of the Cambridge Audio Alva ST turntable. You can learn more about this online at worldwidestereo.com, or if you're in the area, you can stop by our showrooms in Ardmore or Montgomeryville, PA. We offer 60-day returns, free shipping on all orders, and we're authorized dealers for everything we sell. If you have any feedback or questions, leave them in the comment section below, or you can call or email us at any time. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. This is Chris with Worldwide Stereo. Thanks for tuning in.